Hi, congratulations on the movie. I'm Janet Nepales from GMA7. Uh, Joaquin, can you tell us about the dream that you had that inspired this movie? <laughs> oh, and I also, yeah. <laughs> for Lady Gaga, working with Joaquin, right. what was the thing that really made you uh, go for it, like inspired you to get into the movie? Oh, I um, oh, 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 the, the dream was is not inspired the movie. The, the dream was just, um, I, I had this dream that I was, I was performing as Joker, um, uh, doing songs, and, um, and I just called Todd um, because I thought there might be something there, and there wasn't. <laughs> Thank you. Um. <laughs> Uh, I would say working with Joaquin was a total breeze. Uh. <laughs> and, uh, I, uh, I actually really enjoyed it, and uh, it was a completely different experience than any one that I'd ever had before with an actor. Uh, he's incredibly loose and free, and I think I learned very much that going on set with a preconceived notion of what we were going to do was kind of the wrong idea. And I think we all really thrived in the moment and in the chaos of it all. This is such an interesting story, the way that Todd tells this story. I think, I think if you're imagining what this movie is like and then you go see it, you'll realize that you couldn't have possibly thought of it on your own. Um, and, and in order to make that happen, you know, we had to find it every day and you know what was what was the truth what was the honest moment in each scene um, and and how did it tell a story that quite frankly i think we really want all of you to decide for yourselves when you see the film what it means to you um, uh, instead of deciding it for you uh, i have a question for todd um how how did you mediate the the realism of the first film i mean some some of the some of the strength of the film was those very realistic images and the greatness of the city with the stylization that comes with with a musical form uh, you know and, you know this is not a musical but it has that component yeah but i think um you know visually stylistically it it exists in the same world as the first film for a lot of it, and then when we break out of it for certain things, we're breaking out of it with the freedom of Arthur's imagination and where Arthur would take something. And again, Arthur in the first film, to me, beyond had a, having music in him, had a romance to him. He had panache, he had style, even though you didn't really see it. So I think what the musical elements in this film enabled us to do visually is to kind of lean into that style. And, and But again, it, to me, it's all informed through his eyes, you know. 